Oh, one car around. Oh, another car is in it. Oh my god, into the Kesman's upside down. Holy fucking shit. Just about a third of the field has been oh. collected. The big one here on the streets of Toronto, and Ferrucci is upside down. Okay. And you hear the words, Ferrucci says he's okay. Eerily similar to his teammate Stingray Rob, with the same kind of launch and rotation in Iowa last week. I was just going to say I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a red flag for this, and sure enough, we're getting word that race control will throw the red flag. A lot to clean up here, a lot of damage to a lot of race cars. We need to make sure Everybody's every driver's okay. And there it is, the red flag waves. The cars will come Jesus, down. Sorry about that. Come down pit lane. This changes things. Second week in a row, same team. Marcus, There's no point, but that's gonna be a long lap. You're gonna leave a lot of debris around the racetrack, and that car is damaged. A little fire. Yes, I've been drowned. Another car. Woo! Oh, he gets clipped there, and there it goes. Yeah, there are two cars that were up in the air. Obviously, Ferrucci more than. See right here up in the air, and there flies into the catchments. Yeah. Right back to where it should. Nolan Siegel made Siegel. contact as yeah. well. Porcher got through. That was Siegel. Yeah. FIA great fencing that we would have seen a few years ago here. Another angle. Oh my God. This is from Siegel's on board. Oh, all right. Here, and then there and there and there. Goodness, that is such a terrible feeling. It actually fired the car back up. He bump started the car inadvertently. Just sitting there and, and having all those multiple impacts. He's basically just sitting as a launch ramp. I was going to say the angle of the car, right? The front of the car angled down like that. It wasn't until Nolan Siegel came around and actually dislodged the fire from the wall and took that ramp angle away. Yeah, because once the front wing gets deleted here from the first hit, that nose is just primed for launching Ferrucci. That feeling of sitting there is so helpless. Oh. I mean, Siegel's lucky that he didn't jump up the exact same way. He hit just a little bit further driver's left. I think, I think Siegel arguably had the biggest hit. Well, I mean, Pato, Ritchie went for a great ride. Yeah. I mean, Siegel and Pato. Yeah. Because Siegel had the most aggressive deceleration there as Santino, fortunately, waves to the crowd. I saw him flexing his hand a moment ago, so hopefully all is okay. Wow.